ever heard of slow runs? It's like speed runs, but I try to get to the bottom spot of the leaderboard. The intention is to be in that game without pausing or exiting even once and get a slowest time. For slow runs in Minecraft, that's the rules. You can go AFK though. But if you go AFK for a whole week, that's not eligible. There are to this day only three runs which last longer than 100 hours. That's insane. It's not 100 Minecraft days. That's 1000 Minecraft days without having quitting once. And that's only if you sleep every night. But that's 500 days if you never sleep though. But still, it's in between one of those numbers. Those numbers add up to approximately 4 real life days. We're gonna look at the 3 100 hour runs. From the fastest to the slowest. The first ever 100 plus hours run was performed by Leo Paul Vivo. He's a French streamer who's only done one Minecraft speedrun ever. And that was the run which lasted 100 hours, 12 minutes and 28 seconds. The category was any percent glitchless, random seed, 1.16.1 and normal difficulty. The Twitch VODs are spread to three different parts because it was so long. And you probably just needed some time off camera where he could sleep so he wouldn't get too tired. This was 10 months ago though, but he's still the slowest runner of the specific category. When I say specific category, I mean that the next speedrun on the list is 1.16.3 and on easy mode. This run lasted for 111 hours, 11 minutes and 11 seconds. What a satisfying number. And this guy's name is Septix TV. Septix TV is a German streamer who also have multiple parts to his stream. Four parts to be exact. In his description of the speedrun, he tells us he only went AFK to sleep, drink, eat over toilet breaks. But here comes the crazy part, no showering for 111 hours. What an absolute beast. Now for the last guy, Lostboy162, a South Australian streamer. This was in 1.17 and on normal mode. His time is exactly 120 hours. 120 hours is exactly 5 days. That is also very satisfying. But his streams were divided into 7 different parts. It makes sense since it's basically one day more. And he was burned out. So he needed more AFK breaks. But I'm just impressed that people even do this. Instead of going for the top spot for recognition, you go for the bottom spot for recognition. It doesn't take the same amount of skill and luck than the top spots, but it takes an insane amount of time and dedication. But hey, if you ever get time, maybe you can be the worst speedrunner. It doesn't sound very impressive when I say it like that. That was it, fellas. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you later, fellas.